Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show y'all some things that I got from eBay and then I'm going to show y'all kind of like how I used it and it's not really a tutorial but kind of a tutorial. If you want to make your very own Michael or whoever you make, whatever you name your monkey, then all you have to do is be um, subscribe to me and also um, just comment or email me. So I'm going to be picking, I don't think I'm going to have to pick. I think that there's probably not even going to be three people who are going to comment. But if you want a monkey, then um, just let me know and I will send one to you because I want to see other people's monkeys and there's not very many of these going around. Yeah, let's just get to it. I bought this thing on eBay because I have been looking at these little monkey guys and this lot had like a whole bunch of them and I bought it for only like $25 and I thought that was like a really good deal because most of them are selling for a lot more expensive than that for just one of them and so I was super excited when I found this. Um, so. <clears throat> There is a lot of different monkeys in here, and I'm just going to show you all, all of the different types of them. <laughs> and I washed them and um, put them in these little Ziploc baggies because the bags that they came in were kind of gross. So, um, yeah. Okay, so the first monkey I'm going to show, and this is one of my favorites, and I didn't use him first for the tutorial because I didn't want to mess him up. So now that I know how to do it, I'm going to um, use him. So this is his face and he's pretty big compared to the other ones. And um, yeah, so there he is. <laughs> and he comes with um, his little feet. So here's his little feet. And then here's um, the bottoms of his feet. Here, let me see if I can get those. So there's the bottoms of his feet. And then he also came with little hands. So here's his little hands. And I think those are really cute too. So there's that guy. Okay, so I only have one of him. But I have duplicates of pretty much everything else. I have um, this one, which he has a belly. He has a face and a belly. So that's what this one looks like. And he comes with hands that look like this. So there's that little hand. And then his foot looks like this. Um, and let's see how many of those I have. I have one, um, I have two, three, four, five. I have five of those. And then I have these ones that are similar. They're belly and um, belly and head. And then they have hands too that look like this. And their feet look like this. And those look a little bit different and they're bigger too. So there's that one. And then I only have one of these. <laughs> he doesn't have hands or head or feet. He just has his head. So there's that guy. And then I have, so of these ones, I think I have three. 
three of these guys. And then for, let's see, I have these guys, which they don't have a belly. They just have a head. And he looks like this. And they come with hands, let's see. So his hands look like this. And his foot looks like this. Okay. And I have one, two, three, four, five, Five of those guys. And then for this one, I only have one. And he is very interesting. So his feet look like this. Um, and then his head looks like this. And I'm thinking that he is, because I was trying to figure out how this would go. Because if you put it like this, he would be looking like, like that. But I think he's a gorilla. So it would go kind of like this because gorillas are hunched over. So that's what he looks like. And I only have one of him and I'm excited about him. And then his hands look like this. So he has this hand and then he has this hand. The rest of them, they aren't monkeys. Um, so those were all the monkeys that came with it. And then I got um, two of these little angel people. Um, so I have two of those and they have wings with them. And then I got this elf guy, which I've been wanting an elf and too bad I didn't get this before Christmas because um, I've been wanting an elf. <laughs> so yeah. These little elf um and then I got one of these little air freshener dolls and she looks like this and it comes with a pattern too that's the pattern that comes with her and then I got um the three wise men <laughs> uh yeah and then these two pairs of hands for just like anything I guess that would be like proportional like I think these would go with like something like this so she can have hands um and then the last thing um another reason why I decided to get this lot was because of this guy okay um I saw this guy on Let's see, um, crocheting with Lana, um, and she found it at an antique store, I think, and I had to find him. I was looking so much for him. So basically it's this little guy and he can pick his nose. <laughs> but he can also like suck his thumb and he can also pick his ear. See? And I wanted him so bad. I went looking everywhere for him. If you wanna know what his name is, I think it's called, he's by the brand, I think Zim's is what it's called. And he's called like ear picker guy or something. Um, so I don't have a pattern for him and I haven't been able to find any patterns for him. So I'll have to just do my own thing with him. Uh, but I think he's really cool. <laughs> so, okay. So the next part of this video, the reason I was going kind of fast on that is because I want to do um, kind of like a tutorial type of thing. Um, and it's just going to be kind of my process of how I think that I should do it and um, seeing how it comes out so um, 
that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Okay, I'm going to show you all the final product of what I'm making. So <laughs> this is him. His name is Michael. I named him Michael. <laughs> so um, basically he has, he has like little movable, um, posable legs. He has posable arms and he also has a posable tail so you can make it any kind of shape that you want it and then I went for suspenders but they kind of look like overalls so he's wearing his little overalls and this is what it looks like in the back and he has a bow tie and he has his little hair sticking up and I had such a fun time making him I didn't think that I would have that fun of a time because I thought I would just get frustrated because I didn't have a pattern but I loved making him and honestly I think Michael needs a girlfriend so <laughs> I might be making Michael a girlfriend soon with like a little dress or something so um there's Michael and this is what we're gonna be making in this video so if y'all want to see how I make him stick around and keep watching okay so I think I have it in a good spot and what I wanted to do sorry I'm sick so <laughs> I sound weird that's why <clears throat> okay so I wanted to kind of show y'all what I was about to do um, with this and basically I'm going to crochet a monkey but I don't have a pattern I've looked it up everywhere nowhere to be found um, these are like vintage little things so it's harder to find stuff like that um, and I'm just gonna show y'all how to attach the yarn onto the head and I don't even know if this is gonna work but we're gonna try it and see how that goes um, let me grab something really quick okay so um, the yarn I will be using is Yarn B, um, Warm and Cozy in Chestnut, and I didn't bring this to the store with me to match them, uh, and I know monkeys' faces are a little bit different than their face, and fur is a little bit different, but um, it's okay. It'll work. And I wanted it to be fluffy because I'm going to use a dog brush to like brush it out and make it more fluffy. <clears throat> and I got two of those and they are 317 yards and the reason I did that is because it's pretty thin and I think I'll be using it double um, but for this part I'm gonna use it single and I'm just gonna show y'all and keep in mind I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm just going to show y'all how I think I should do it and then go from there. So I'm going to get, and okay, I think I said it already, but the thing we're going to be doing is attaching the yarn to the face. Um, so I'm going to get this needle right here and it's a thinner needle. It, it's still a yarn needle, but it's a little bit thinner than the ones I usually use. And I'm going to go oh my goodness okay see I told y'all I don't know if this is gonna work oh nope it did okay <laughs> so I just pierced that and I'm just kind of gonna go along go along that area wait I think I pierced it backwards I need to pierce it this way Okay, so I'm going in like that, and I'm just gonna start sewing along. This needle's hard to get through. Sewing along his face, because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hook Later on, I might need a thinner one to start this out. But we're gonna take our hook and we're gonna grab in there like this, and we're gonna start crocheting. 
So that's how you get the yarn on there. Um, so let's just make sure. And I think this is called a back stitch. And it's hard to get through, but with um, a little bit of push, you can get it in there. And I'm just gonna make them as evenly spaced as possible. Um, I say that and then that looks not even at all, but that's fine. You're not, you're not going to see this, okay? Um, and I'm just using the table to like, I'm using the table Okay, <clears throat> hopefully I'll set it down. So I'm gonna cut that. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna tie that in a little knot. It doesn't really matter. It'll be hidden in the face later. Okay, so now we can crochet into this guy. So I want to use a four millimeter hook probably. Um, but, like I said, it's going to probably take a much smaller hook to get into those. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This is a 2.25, I think. 2.5. It rubbed off, but it's a 2.5. And you go in there. <clears throat> I think I am going to do it double. Um, just because this yarn is much thinner it says it's a size four or a weight four but it doesn't feel like it so I'm just gonna hold that double and I'm going to go in each of those stitches just as if I were gonna be crocheting normally and I'm gonna crochet a little bit lighter or a little um, looser because I'm going to be switching to that four millimeter hook and you don't want it to be too tight on this row. Sorry, I think I was out of frame. But this row is going to be kind of finicky. Um, but if you can get this row done, it should be smooth sailing after this. Okay. Um, probably nobody's going to do this, but <sighs> maybe I would. If there was a tutorial out there, I would watch it. Um, this isn't really a tutorial, but I'm just showing y'all how to do it or how I did it. So there's a lot of ways to do it. But see, look at that. Oh my goodness. I am proud of myself. Usually I don't go for things because I'm scared they won't turn out good. But this I think is going to be really cute. And you're not just going to do this on the head. You also do it on the little hands. And I washed these things, but they look kind of gross, but they need to be wiped down again, but um, you do it on the these two. Um, and um, I'm just gonna see, so okay, this might be a little hard to explain, but what I'm gonna do Okay, well, we have another fight happening right before me. Okay, just a second. It's like I'm constantly having front seats at a pro wrestling match in this apartment. Um, okay, so 
This might be a little hard to explain. And this might be above my teaching capacity. But, so you know how there's like a basic sphere pattern. So you do increases every stitch and then the next row you do one increase and then a single crochet, one increase, single crochet. Next row is two in, two single crochets, an increase, two single crochets, an increase. Okay, so that's kind of what you're gonna be doing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to my other hook, okay? And I probably need a stitch marker. Okay, so basically, right here we have we have stitches already and at the beginning you always start with six single crochets right or usually when you're starting a sphere well this is like you have already done half of the sphere okay um because one half is made and then we have this many stitches going around so what I'm going to do is probably a few rounds of single crochet and then I'm going to count how many stitches I have in the round and I'm going to make my sphere kind of according to that um, so I know how many de to decrease on. Uh, so yeah, we will see how this turns out. I'm a little skeptical. And right here it looks like I need another stitch and this is not an exact science okay see how that looked a little gappy right there i'm gonna increase right there so it will close up that little hole right there and it'll make another stitch there um so if that happens to you and it looks a little too gappy just put another stitch so this is very um, general just because there's so many different like uh, sizes of these things like I have this one and this little guy has a belly too and he's like a different size I have this one and he's also a different size than this one so it's just you know fill it with your heart if you want um, a more specific tutorial then just let me know and I will try and make it like more in depth <clears throat> but basically the next thing you're gonna do so I've done one two three five six seven um, one two three four five six six rows and now this row and that is just me being like, okay, I think it's time to decrease. Um, just feel it with your heart. So, this row is important because this row is gonna be the row that I count the stitches. And you can count it without crocheting, but I like to crochet and count, so just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna describe to you um, what we're doing on this scrap piece of paper I had nearby. Okay. So you start out with six single crochets in the magic loop, right? Um, and then the next row, you usually increase on all of them and that makes 12 stitches. Next row, you do one single crochet, increase, and that leaves with you with 18 stitches. And the next row, you do two single crochet, increase and you get 24. Each of these are going up by six stitches, right? So increments of six. So the next one would be 30 stitches. The next one would be 36 stitches. And this would be three single crochet increase. And then the next one would be four single crochet increase. So basically we need to know that. So this head right here, as I was counting, had 34 stitches. So the closest I had um, between these two were 
36. So on the end, I increased two. And I know this is very just kind of general and, but I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> so now we know I have 36 st stitches around his head. So that means in the sphere pattern next, you're gonna do um, four single crochet and then decrease. And so you're gonna start with four and then you're gonna three, two, one, and then you're gonna decrease every round um, to make a perfect sphere. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna put my stitch marker on the next round. And so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna decrease the stitch. And I'm gonna continue that sphere pattern until his head's all the way closed. So um, I hope that makes sense. So um, go ahead and do that on yours and then I'll come back. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, now I am to the point where I need to add some stuffing. And I'm a little skeptical by his head shape um, because it looks a little uh, weird, but <laughs> we'll see when we add stuffing and see how that is. Um, so I'm just going to add as much as I think. And I don't, I think I, I'm probably going to have to stuff his whole head because it's going to, like, even the plastic part, even though it doesn't need it, but just to have it filled out. Okay, so now I have, I have two more rows until I'm done with his head, and then I'll show you the next thing I'm going to do in just a second. Okay, so here's his head all finished off. I think it looks okay. The only thing I might have done is like added more stitches along his face at the beginning. Um, but other than that, I think it looks good. Um, so now here I have this dog brush that I got from Dollar Tree and it still has the tap on it. Um, but cut that off and this is what it looks like. I got from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. I just had to chase my dog around the house because she had one of these hands in her mouth. Okay. No. Um, okay. So you take the brush. I've never done this. I'm giving tutorials on things that I've never done before. Oh, but that looks good. He looks furry now. Ow! Okay. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, look how furry he looks. Okay. And you just have to keep doing that. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is probably the most chaotic tutorial you've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, and it feels like you're messing it up, but you're not. Like you're... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Like, oh my, that's so cool. Okay. I should have done this a long time ago. That's awesome. And you just do that until, oh, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Genuine reaction. Okay. That looks so good. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay. Uh, yes, I have bled twice in this video now. Once right there and once in my finger. Okay. So, oh my gosh, he is adorable. <gasps> I'm so excited about him. Okay. So, things to warn about. 
um, the first thing, don't your beginning stitches, don't put them too close because it, I was being a little too rough and they look like they're like almost pulling out. They're not, but it's a close one. So put them farther back and leave a good bit of plastic um, so that if they do pull, it's not going to pull right out of them. Uh, but oh my gosh, y'all need to try this. These little guys, oh my goodness. And also look, okay, he can put his finger in his ear. He can put his finger in his nose. You can also put his finger in his mouth. Okay, this is going to be so cool. Okay, I thought that I was just going to do the head, but I think I'm going to show y'all the process of the whole thing. So, um, yeah, this is really cool. Okay, I just have to show y'all this one thing. I gave him a little tuft of hair. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Okay, bye. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of being bugged out by this little part right here. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, I had an idea. Oh no. Phoebe, did you take my crochet hook? Uh, oh, never mind. Was it there the whole time? Was that there? The <laughs> I don't know. I think it was. Okay. Anyways. Uh, okay. I'm going to make like a little flap of hair for him. So let's move that to the side. I'm just going to freehand this and for yours, he might not need this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little thing. Um, so now I'm going to I'm gonna pull a longer tail than I usually would because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna sew this little hair. Uh, does that look bad? Does that look bad that he has a little hair flap? Okay, see, y'all are totally seeing me just go for it, just winging it. But we have to make this fluffy too and I'm trying not to make myself bleed again. But I need to make this fluffy. Okay. Let's see if that blends in. Um I feel like we could make that work. So I'm just gonna line up this little piece of hair. Maybe this way. Um, sorry. I'm trying to see while well, y'all still see. Okay, this is the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna sew this. Okay what is stuck nothing apparently okay um i'm just going to sew his hairline on he's getting he's getting a hairline makeover you know he was he was sad he was um having a receding hairline and so now we're just you know taking him to the spa And we'll see if this actually helps or if I'm just crazy and we can take it off. Phoebe, please. She's trying to get the cat again. Okay, I might, I might be crazy. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> he looks so crazy. It might actually work for him. He already is crazy. <laughs> okay, maybe it actually does look good. 
Oh, he has a little flap of hair. <sighs> yes. It's like his brow hair. Okay. So I'm just gonna finish that off. Just gonna tie a little knot. I'm just gonna, I always do this. I don't know. I know some people don't, but all you have to do is make a knot or yeah, make a knot and push it in there and then cut this off. You don't have to leave in the ends. I've never had a problem. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay. And now he has a little brow. Okay. Does that look better? What do y'all think? <laughs> okay. So, there he is. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yes. His hair looks better. Okay. So, there he is. Okay. Okay. So... The next part of this is going to be the body, okay? So, um, usually um, the head, well, so the thing I wanna do, um, I want the head bigger because I think that just looks cute. Um, so I'm going to start out with six single crochets in the magic loop. And then I'm just going to start with that, you know, that um, sphere type of thing. So increase in every stitch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Um, and I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like the width is big enough to my liking. And I'll meet you back. Okay, so. I have done the body and I kind of skipped a lot because my phone died but I did the body and I started with the sphere pattern um, you know like the in the equal increases and I did a bunch of rows single crochet to make it longer and then I just decreased <clears throat> but I didn't decrease all the way because I wanted it to stay open so that I could attach the head. Okay, so um, scratch the part where I said that I wanted the head bigger. I accidentally made the body bigger, but it still looks good. So I'm just going with it. So I threaded my needle and I've already done the fluffing up part. And I think you should probably do that before you sew it on because um, it would be hard with the head and everything. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna sew this on like normal. Um, if you do a lot of Amy Gurumi, you know how to do this part. So um, just go ahead and do that and I will meet you back. Okay. So I have the head sewn onto the body. Um, and now the next part I'm going to do is the tail. And I'm just gonna wing it like every other part that I've done in this video. <coughs> and at the end of the tail, I'm gonna show y'all something really cool that I'm gonna do with it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay. 
I just did six and I think that I'm gonna increase this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, I think that's probably, um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm just, you know, seeing how wide in comparison. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. So now I'm just going to make a long tube. So I'm just going to single crochet until it's as long as I want. And then I'll come back and show y'all what I'm going to do at the end of the tail. So I made the tail. And I just made it as long as I thought is good. So now I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with the tail. Um, I don't know if pipe cleaners would work because this is thicker. Um, not as small. But you could try pipe cleaners and see if that works but I have like this heavy duty stuff that I got from uh, Lowe's and it's for like supposed to be for like wires or something um, this I think was like $20 for this whole whole roll I've never used it before but we are gonna try it today and it's pretty thick and like it'll be good to like be malleable and I saw that in a pattern somewhere like years ago and so we're gonna try it today and I'm just gonna cut a piece long enough for that and I don't know if I'm gonna do this for the arms and the legs yet but we will see so first I am gonna brush this out and um, make it look like this and I'll be right back okay I think that is good enough brushed out for now and we're just gonna put well yeah I think we should put this in first um, so I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna get some stuffing and stuff it Okay, that was way more overly frustrating and annoying than it should have been. Um, put the wire in first and then stuff it. I tried it the other way, didn't work. So, <clears throat> now I'm gonna get my needle and I'm gonna sew the tail on. Okay, um, so now we have his tail and it's attached to him now. And you can now make it however shape you want it now this might be way too much overkill but i'm having a lot of fun making him so i'm going to add little uh pieces of longer hair to his tail to make it kind of like this um and add some more fluffiness to it so just a second okay so now i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna do the hands um and this will be the same for all, both of the hands and um, the feet. So it's gonna be similar to how we did the head. Um, and I've already done both of the feet off camera, so I kind of have an idea on how I'm gonna do this. Um, and basically I'm just getting um, about probably like a, like six stitches around, but this whole thing has been me winging it and it hasn't been exact. Um, <clears throat> and he's still turning out really cute. So just do whatever, just do however many can fit around here. And then um, we will add stitches to the arm when we're increasing. Um, and basically I am just 
and I am just making it the width that I feel like is proportional to his whole body and to his hand um, and feet. So something got caught here. Um, now my dog is digging in the trash. Phoebe, stop, please. Okay. Um, so there we go. And usually, um, just to keep in mind, um, legs are usually thicker than like arms. So as you're making that, just keep that in mind. So my legs are, I think was 12 stitches around. So I think I'm going to make the hands maybe eight or nine stitches around. We'll see what looks good. So we did that just like we did the head and we tied that and then we're just going to push that right into the hand to get that out of the way. And then we're going to pick up our smaller hook that we've been using and we're just going to do, whoa, we're just going to do it like we did the head. We're going to pick up all of these stitches and we're going to do a round just like that. And remember to keep in mind that you will be doing these stitches a little looser because we want to get that bigger hook into it late on the next round. So. That is my dog playing with her toy now. At least she is not being bad. So we had one and then we have two stitches. And then three stitches. And I'm just gonna increase right here because I feel like that stitch is kind of far away. So four and then Five. I'm going to do another increase here. Six. And seven. And here. So I'm going to go into this stitch one more time. Okay. So what I'm doing when I do the increases, I'm just... I'm just doing that because I felt like my stitches were a little far away <clears throat> and it might look a little gappy on the next round. So that's why I put those increases there and just do it as you feel is necessary. Um, and this is just very loosey goosey and not very specific, but he's turning out really cute. And I think if you do the same thing, he'll turn out just as good and again like if y'all want me to make like a more specific tutorial I will but this is more just like how I do things how I'm doing this okay so then this round see it's kind of hard to go in there this round is a little bit difficult because that was the smaller hook and I changed to the bigger hook so this hook this one is the bigger hook row and you're going to be using the bigger hook for the rest of the arm. The smaller hook is just to get into those tiny stitches we put on the hand. Um, okay and then um, I'm going to do this round. Okay so now um, that you have the correct amount of stitches that you think is proportional um, and you just increased you know nothing specific but just increase like gradually to get that number that you want and now it should be just smooth sailing single crochets until you have the length of arm you want okay so um, just keep trying it on him and seeing if that looks long enough for you. And um, once it's done, 
then I'll show you what to do from there. So I'll meet you back in just a second when this arm is done. So I just compared the arm to the body. And so now I'm gonna cut a piece of this wire again and I ended up doing this for the legs too so that they're opposable. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been adding a little bit of stuffing to the bottom because I don't want it to go in the hand. It doesn't really matter to go in the hand. And then I'm going to add this little thing. And then I'm going to add the stuffing. And this is the best way to do it. I've noticed the other way it makes it nearly impossible to get that thing in there. So this is what I've been doing. Um, and I'm going to stuff that real good. And I'm going to kind of leave a little bit of room at the top that doesn't have much stuffing because that makes them a little bit more uh, flappy uh, and like lay flat. So there's that. Sew up the top. Um, so I take this and go, you know, like that. And then I brush it out and then I add it to the body. So um, I'll meet you back after I'm done that with that. I feel like Mr. Monkey is a little bit bare. Um, his name is Michael the monkey, by the way. Um, yes. And um, I feel like he needs some suspenders and a bow tie. So um, what I will be using for that is um, this Lion brand and a little bit of red yarn to make his bow tie. And then I'm gonna be using uh, some buttons for his suspenders. So let's start with the bow tie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm going to chain I'm going to chain double the length of what I think his bow tie should be. So I think that is a pretty good size bow tie for him. Um, so now I have, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I'm going to chain 11 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, and 11. Okay. And so we're going to be doing half double crochet. And we're going to actually slip stitch into, into the first one. So we're going to be making like a little ring. Okay. That's why we doubled. That's why we um, doubled the amount of stitches. Because it's going to be folded over on itself. And I'm just going to slip stitch into that first one. And then I'm going to do half double crochets in every single one of those stitches. And this is going to be different for everybody's monkey because y'all's monkey is probably going to be a different size than mine is. So just um, compare it to your monkey. And we're gonna be making, we're gonna be going in rounds for as wide as you want that bow tie to be. So I'm gonna think mine is probably gonna be about three, two or three rounds and um, long or wide. And um, so just compare it to your monkey and meet me back. Okay. Okay, so what I mean by compare it to your monkey is I've done two rounds already um, and I think that if I go for a third round, it will be too wide for him. So I think two rounds is good for my monkey. Um, and so I'm going to just stop at two rounds. I'm going to pull a long tail. So longer than you think. I've done about maybe two feet. Um, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to take that here. Let me move Michael out of the way. Okay. We're going to fold this in half. Um, actually, uh, you see that beginning end we have right there? Not the long one. Just the one that we started with. Um, you're going to want to weave that in before. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this 
is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to get this and I'm going to start wrapping it around there just like this see and basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna start creating a little cinch it's gonna cinch it in I'm just gonna make him a little bow tie <coughs> you want it to be in the middle and you're gonna want to leave some of that end because we're going to turn it around. We just got to keep it all nice and neat. We're going to turn it around and we're going to weave or we're going to make a little knot. With the rest of this what you can do is you can use that to sew it onto him. So see how that looks? Looks cute. Um, so there's his little bow tie and I will show you how I'm going to make the suspenders next. What I'm going to do, so you need to remember how many stitches your legs were, okay? Because that's going to be important for making his pants. So, basically, my legs were 12 stitches around. Um, and you want to make them bigger, the pants bigger than that, because you want them to fit over the leg. So, let's see. Mine were 12, were 12 stitches around. So I think I'm probably gonna do my pant 14 stitches around to give two stitches of leeway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So, this is a little bit different yarn, so it should fit around the leg, but since it's different yarn, we're going to see. Um, that looks almost a little bit tight, so I'm going to add maybe one more stitch, just to make sure that it can get around his leg. So, my leg was 12 stitches, and I'm doing... 15 stitches for his leg of his pants. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to get into that first stitch at the beginning of that chain and I'm going to connect it to make a loop. And I'm just going to go and single crochet into each one of these stitches. And I'm going to do that until it's long enough for his leg to be wearing pants. And I don't think, I've debated on whether I want him to have shorts or pants. Do people wear suspenders with shorts? I don't know. I kind of want him to have shorts just to have his leg showing, but we're going to see. We're going to see, okay? Um, so make this as long as either... A pair of shorts would be or a pair of pants so I'll meet you back in just a second okay <clears throat> so I have finished his first little pant leg and I decided to go with shorts partially because I think it would be cuter for it to be shorts because I want his like little fur to show and also because I'm running out of yarn and I don't want to run out of yarn. Um, what I did was, um, I think I said that I was going to do 15 single crochets because his leg was 12. Well, scratch that. Um, I had to go with 20 stitches because it was way too small. And I think it'll look better if the pants are a little bit baggier. So you don't want, you don't want it to be like, super tight like you want it to look you know um like he's wearing pants okay so i made one of those and i made another one so here are both of his uh pant, le pant legs um the second one i didn't finish off i'm leaving it's still attached to the yarn okay 
and the way that I kind of measured these pants was it's going to be measured right at the base of his leg so just for you know how long you want it you want to keep it at that base of the leg and then um yeah so I decided that that was a good length and now what I'm going to do is this is going to be like every other um, type of pants um, that I've made before. So if you've ever made pants before, it's going to be just like that. So with the one that's still attached to your yarn, you're going to, I think I'm going to chain three. And that is just for that middle point. Um in between his legs so that it can attach to the other leg. And then for this one, I'm gonna get this one. Here, let's move Michael out of the way. For this one, I am just gonna go in here and I'm gonna just pick any of those stitches and I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna sing, or technically I'm gonna half double crochet, so I'm gonna yarn over and then I'm gonna half double crochet in there. So now these are attached to each other. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to keep half double crocheting, which um, if you decide to do single crochet on your pants, it does not, it doesn't matter. Whatever you think looks best, um, whichever one you feel like doing, um, go with. I'm doing half double crochets, so I'm going to continue with half double crochets. And I'm just going to weave that end in while I am crocheting. Um, so I'm just going to carry that along. And I am just going to go all the way around that second pant leg. So now that we've gotten to the other side of that pant leg, we are, remember how we chained, we chained three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into each of those three stitches. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue half double crochet. Once you reach that other side of the um, chain three, you're gonna also half double crochet on that side too. And from there on out, it should be pretty smooth sailing of just half double crochets or single crochets of whatever you're doing until it starts looking like an actual pair of pants and it actually fits on him. So I'm gonna meet you back once my pants start looking more like pants and you're just gonna keep going round and round and round okay okay so we have my pants right here and <clears throat> I forgot to mention that I'm going to add a hole for his tail and so depending on where your tail placement is um, I did it's one, two, three, four rows of the conjoined of the conjoined legs, and this is where I'm going to add the tail or the tail hole. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to skip five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to add it right here. We're going to have to double crochet. And so now we have this little hole for him to have a tail, his tail peeking out. And we're just gonna continue around like we've been doing. And I will meet you back at this chain when we come back around to it. Okay, so now we are back at that chain. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crochet right in that chain. Okay. Um, so there should be five. And we're just gonna go right in there. And 
and we're gonna keep crocheting this until you're gonna have to try it on your monkey um, right now Michael's pants aren't big enough for him but we're gonna keep going more rounds until they are long enough to cover um, part of his belly and they look like pants so I will meet you back in just a second I have tried on Michael's suspenders a few times and I think his pants fit him good and so now we're gonna add the straps and so what we're gonna do for that is we are going to end about in line where his straps would be coming up. So they're gonna be coming up at about these points right here. So we're gonna stop about right here. So there's a couple stitches right there and then and this is just gonna this is gonna be different for everybody. Um I actually think I'm gonna add this one. Um and I think I'm gonna make my straps three stitches wide. So here it is one, two, and three. Actually maybe four. Four stitches wide. And so I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do four stitches so one two three and four and then I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn it again so one two three and four. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn it again. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn it again. See how it's starting to make that strap? Okay. So we're going to keep doing that until the strap is long enough to come over his arms, to come over his arms and we're going to crisscross it in the back. So we're going to do that until it's long enough. So I'll meet you back in a second. Okay, at this point, I don't know how much longer to go, so I'm going to put these on Michael. Okay, we need to see how much longer to be doing his suspenders. So we're going to take it above his arm, and we're going to crisscross it in the back. And honestly I think that we just need one more row so I'm gonna do that right now so we're gonna do the half double crochets again four of them or however wide you decided to do your strap and let's see yeah I think that is probably good. Well, maybe let's do one more so it's not stretching too much. But it will stretch over time, so just make it however long looks like it fits him comfortably. Yes, we want Michael to be comfortable. Okay. And now I'm going to do a long enough tail to sew in the end to this side and I am going to 
attach yarn to this side. Let's attach it there. One. And then two. And then three. And then four. And remember we chain one and we turn. And you can take his suspenders off when you're doing this, but I think I'm just gonna leave them on and probably. We're just gonna go for as long as this other strap was here and I will meet you back. Okay, so now that we've made Michael, I um, wanted to say that I just felt like I got such a good deal on these um, monkeys. Um, I literally paid like $25 for them and they are expensive and hard to find in um, on eBay. And so comment and the only thing is is that you have to be subscribed, you have to comment and um, you have to tell me which kind of monkey you want because, okay. So Michael, his face, I don't have any more of his faces, but the tutorial, you can um, use kind of what I did to um, make your own monkey. Um, and so you just have to tell me um, what kind of face do you want? So do you want one that is like this? Um, okay, so I'll just put numbers on them. Okay, um, do you want number one? This is number one. Okay, and he is, he is very similar to Michael. Um, I think for the most part the tutorial is going to be pretty much completely the same. Okay, so do you want number one? Do you want number two? which is gonna be this one. And, or, do you want number three, which is gonna be this one. And for the most part, the tutorial, if you watched it, it's gonna be the same with um, just adding the yarn with a needle to around his body, um, but, this one is going to be the most similar. So number one is going to be the most similar. But I will send you one, two, or three if that is what you want. And um, also, I just wanted to say that um, U.S. only because I think shipping is like outrageous if it's somewhere else. Um, so yeah, U.S. only. Comment and tell me which kind you want. And um, I, if you make one. I would like to see a picture of it because I, I think these guys are so cute. So I think that is all I have for you today and I'm glad you stuck around and watched my video. Bye!